la que te siga. Just imagine if you would for a moment that there were this many versions of yourself having different experiences. I believe that they are. Because I believe that we are all multidimensional. Anytime we say yes to one thing, one of these versions explore no to that same thing. I believe we're multidimensional. Jumping in and out of different realms or dimensions. I think that's amazing. I want to say to each and every one of my reflections that I feel so proud of you. That I love you so much. That I'm enjoying this journey immensely. I know you already know that we can be, do, or have anything. <laughs> that means anything. I love our forever expansion. Hey, you. You alright? Okay, I'm just checking on you. Hey, number seven. How you feel today? You good? Hey you, all the way in the back. Keep your head up. It gets better. You're just going through different stages of life. Yeah, that, that's all it is. Hey, what about this eye? Y'all good over here? Oh, I see you back there. Looking for love in all the wrong places, baby. No, 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 no. You gonna figure when you get up here, that everything that you were looking for, you already had inside of you. Here's what I want you to do, especially you in the back. Keep on dreaming. Keep on believing. I promise you, it gets better as you get ahead. All you gotta do is just wake up. <laughs> just keep on waking up. We we'll keep on waking up. Just promise me you're just gonna wake up and walk into your unfold. Good morning. Today is 11 11. It's a beautiful day. I'm about to check out. I'm about to check out in about an hour. It's official. I purchased my home. But Today I want to talk about uh, just how I'm giving you the sauce, the juice of something that I wish I would have known a long time ago, but it was all purposeful because I had to go through it. And you too are going to have to go through your own journey, but here's that nugget in you. When you get there, you understand this more. <laughs> it's about restoring your soul. What am I talking about? When in the biblical text it talks about uh, restoring your soul, I look at that as if it's talking about restoring your subconscious mind. So think about it like this here. We have a conscious and we have a subconscious and then we have that all-knowing, like the super conscious God, like right, the source. And so when it when I say restore my soul. I'm talking about the subconscious mind. <laughs> Restoring the subconscious mind to think and look at people and operate as if you're looking through the eyes of God. You see them like God sees them. You hear like God hear. You taste like God tastes. This is what Jesus was doing in the biblical text. <laughs> Lazarus is not dead. Lazarus is sleeping. Why? Because his his subconscious mind had been restored. His he had restored the mind. 
And so when he had restored the mind, he was tapped into that super conscious, that all knowing, that God state of being. He don't see nobody sick. He don't see nobody lame or blind or, 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 or with a blood issue. No, no, no. Because his soul, his subconscious mind had been restored. That's the key. That's the key for all of us to do in this physical reality. Restore the mind. The subconscious mind. Mm -hmm. Remember how I said in the biblical text, he breathed breath in him and he became a living soul. A living soul. <laughs> A living soul that had a body, that had a physical, but still the soul, the subconscious mind, is the soul part of him. Hmm. It's beautiful when you understand it and you could operate it in it and you you know of it because it becomes your law, it becomes your way of thinking. You might you might fall a little short, you know, you might stumble a little bit, but You know how in the biblical text though is a the fear of the Lord is is, is is the beginning of wisdom. Now if we look at that and, and take that word Lord and turn it into the law. <laughs> the fear of the law is the beginning of wisdom. Because if you look at it as the law, you know that with the laws, the what you giving out is what you receiving back with the laws, right? <laughs> with the laws of attraction with the laws of assumption it's all of the stuff that's coming from your subconscious mind that's going out that you're attracting back so the fear of the law is the beginning of wisdom <laughs> oh yeah the fear of the law so I encourage you today to open up your heart See people like God, see people. Open up your mind. You cancel out the old beliefs that have you in a new program that's giving you the same old thing over and over, rinsing and repeating. Speak on the things that you want more of. Learn about the laws of the universe because they're really controlling everybody. <laughs> Sickness and just ease, disharmony. That's why I don't even talk about herbs and stuff like that no more because at the end of the day, there's people violating the law. There's people that haven't renewed their subconscious mind. Because if you think about it like this here, even if you were to eat, I don't know, the most so-called unhealthy food in the physical reality, the physical reality is all God. All is God. That's why through the eyes of God, there is no sickness. That's why in the eyes of God in the New Testament, it was like, Bless you for it. That's what the biblical text said when Jesus came. He said, I came to deliver that message of love. Bless you for Be good to thy neighbor. Turn, turn the other cheek. Yeah. All is God. All is God. And so with all being God, that means everything that happens to you is happening through you because of your beliefs of the laws that you have in your head like you believe bad is always going to happen to you so shall it be so shall it be that's your law you can change your law though I change mine and I encourage you to change yours before I wrap this here video up I want to talk about what I love about my new home and so those, and when I say this, I'm going to say this on purpose because um, at one time, I was not renewed of my subconscious mind. And I desired to move. Now, I'm not going to speak on why, on the negative, but I'm, when, when I see the positive reasons of why I 
wanted to move you because I want more of that. You could better understand the negative things that I went through. Okay? But I want to try this here right quick with y'all so you could you could see where, where this move come from. You know, I I, I I go through just like everybody else. But we're not going to speak on that because that means I am regurgitating that, right? In the there is power in the spoken word. You have to be impeccable with your words, right? So we're not going to go to the negative. I'm only telling you the things that I love now about this move. Okay? Here we go. And then I'm going to end this video because I got to go. I love this state where I am. I love the comfort of knowing that there is dry heat here. I love the comfort of knowing that we only get a sprinkle of rain here. That feels good to me. That feels refreshing to me. I love knowing that I'm at a high elevation. Oh, that feels safe feels different. <laughs> I love knowing that I have a new construction that way. Everything is brand new. That, 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 that feels like security. That feels like peace of mind. I love knowing the name of my street is. It really resonates with me a whole lot. And I love knowing that it was so perfect that I found this, this new construction. I love knowing that the universe just, just made the way financially all is well. I love knowing that now I have another dream of income. I love knowing that, um, that I'm in a diverse area that my children or in an area that I want them, that I desire them to be. Because of the resources, because of the newness, because it's different. I love knowing that not only am I exploring, that I've given them ways to look at the world and, and encourage them to explore. I love knowing that I'm breaking generational curses in many, many ways. I love knowing that I was fearless with this move. I love knowing that I'm growing, I'm evolving. I love knowing that my belief system is a beautiful one. I love knowing that there is no work to do. That I didn't have to work hard. I just had to learn how to work smart. I love knowing that I tapped into infinite intelligence, my source, my creator, my all. I love knowing that everything is working out perfect for me, even the things that others may look at and see that were maybe not so bad, even the not so bad things worked out for my good because the universe was just reorganizing some things. It was just moving some chairs around <laughs> on my becoming stage. I love that I have fallen in love with me. When I say me, I don't just mean me in this physical body. I mean the totality of me, the totality of God. I have fallen in love with the bosom of God, the, the fullness of God, the totality of God, the masculine and the feminine of God, the beginning and the end of God. I love knowing. That this move is not going to be my only move. That I'm going to continue evolving in life. I love knowing that I'm around Asian 
Mexicans and Caucasians and Mexicans and Blacks. And I love knowing that even though we don't all speak the same language, energetically, we're one. video it was from my heart to yours baby I gotta go about to go check out be blessed baby